Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a website that's been getting a lot of attention lately, sbooks100.com. They claim you can get a $100 Starbucks gift card just by completing a survey. Sounds amazing, right? But is it too good to be true? Let's find out. So, here's how it works. The website promotes a $100 Starbucks gift card to users who complete a survey. After finishing the given steps, users are supposed to receive the gift card. But is it legit or is it just another scam? Let's break it down. First things first, let's look at some red flags. The website, sbucks100, has several indicators that it might be a scam. Let's dive into them. Domain age. The domain is relatively new, which can be a sign of a scam. Legitimate businesses typically have longer established domains. Lack of reviews. There are very few user reviews or social media comments about the website, making it harder to verify its legitimacy. Legitimate websites usually have various reviews given by users. Hidden identity. The website owner's identity is hidden, which is often a tactic used by scammers to avoid accountability. Reports and complaints. Users on Reddit report receiving offers for free or discounted Starbucks gift cards in exchange for completing surveys or providing personal information. Many warn that these offers are scams designed to collect personal information and that the promised gift cards are never delivered. Okay, so we've looked at the red flags, but what happens if you actually try to sign up and complete the survey? Let's walk through the process. So you start by clicking on the link and it redirects you to another page. You fill in some basic information and click Next. Then, you get redirected again and again. Eventually, you either end up with an error message or on a completely different website. Not a good sign. While the idea of a $100 Starbucks gift card is enticing, the website SBucks100 raises too many red flags to be considered legitimate. From the new domain age and lack of reviews, to hidden identity and user complaints, there are just too many risks involved. Remember folks, always be cautious and do your research before providing any personal information online. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Thanks for tuning in, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future reviews. Stay safe out there, and see you next time.